A developing story out of Raleigh, stricter rules for childhood immunization may be coming to North Carolina, including an end to religious exemptions. Buncombe County State Senator Terry Van Dyne is sponsoring a bill citing a statistic that hits close to home. Too many local parents opting out of vaccinations for their kids, saying it's against their religion. News 13's Frank Crawford joins us live, and this is a big issue in Buncombe County, Frank. It certainly is. We have the highest rate of kindergartners not being immunized because of religious reasons. Now, the state average, less than 1%. Buncombe County, more than 4 We're at an almost crisis point where our children are vulnerable to diseases that we thought were, we didn't have to worry about anymore. Like Senator Van Dyne's talking about things like whooping cough and measles, serious childhood threats that are making a comeback, largely because fewer people are being immunized. I don't want to see a headline that says, we have lost a child to something like whooping cough. Uh, that would be a tragedy since this is a preventable disease. So she and two other senators are sponsoring SB 346, a bill to enact stricter immunization requirements. A key component would repeal the religious exemption, which is being invoked at an opt-out rate of about one in 20 kindergarten parents in Buncombe County. Van Dyne believes it can be as simple as people passing along their beliefs and fears about vaccines. It's relatively easy to opt out now we can create a neighborhood with an opt-out rate as high as 30 percent and we and we have places in Buncombe County where that in fact is the case. Senator Van Dyne says she's been reading a great deal of email both pro and con and that SB 346 will be a work in progress that there has to be consensus and a common goal. We need to look seriously at the issue to make sure that our children are safe. I am not trying to say that vaccinations are 100% safe. What I am saying is these are very dangerous um, diseases and they are coming back. Right now, West Virginia and Mississippi are the only states that do not allow religious exemptions. Senator Van Dyne says that this now will go to a subcommittee and then to a work study group, and she's hoping that this bill will be heard sometime this session. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Frank Rocker, News 13.